got a beat. I'm popping shit. We got the chips. Pull up and dip. Water clear. She gon' stare. This ain't fair. Bitch, beware. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup whenever I film videos or whenever I'm filming content. And this is the look right here. I feel like it's kind of like in the middle of natural and glam and I'm so excited to show you guys how I do my makeup because a lot of you have been asking me for a makeup routine, especially on TikTok. So if you guys came here from TikTok, comment down a purple heart emoji so I know you guys are watching. And I didn't do my hair yet, so that's why I look crazy. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it took a million years to film it, but here it is finally and let's get right on to the video. So starting off with foundation, I use this Milani 2-in-1 foundation and I mix those two colors to get my skin tone color. At first, it's going to look kind of weird and washed out once I have the foundation on, but trust me, everything will be blended at the end. So I use this Beauty Blender from Real Techniques to blend out that foundation and then we're going to move on to Cream Contour. I love doing cream contour, it really changed my makeup game. And I use this one from NYX, it's their HD concealer and I put it on my cheekbones, my forehead and my nose. I put it a little above my cheekbones cause we're gonna blend upwards and you don't wanna drag it down. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. brush to blend it all out. And I forgot to mention in the beginning but these lashes are from Ethereal Blinks in the style celestial they're a small brand on instagram so i'm gonna put the at on the screen i love supporting small brands like i really respect the hustles so that's why i love promoting them i also use lashes from the bold face makeup in the style thrill seeker and ultra ego those are my two faves but anyways back to the tutorial we're still blending that cream contour and you really want to take your time with this because i know cream contour can be really tricky so don't apply too much pressure on the brush when you are blending. And right now, it doesn't really have to be perfect. We just want to place it in the right spots because we're going to clean it up with concealer afterwards. For concealer, we're going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And this is about two to three shades lighter than my actual skin tone. I'm trying to go for that white under eye look. But if you don't want that, you could always use your regular colored concealer. This is just what I prefer. For placement, as you guys can see, I put a little bit under the eyes just because this is a bright concealer. I don't want to put too much. And then we're going to put two lines on the outer corners of our eyes going upwards towards the temple. I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush to blend it out. I definitely prefer a brush over a beauty sponge when blending out my concealer. I feel like I have more control over where I can put the product. And as you saw, I was kind of fanning my face out. You want to let the concealer sit for a minute just so it gets thick and it gives you more full coverage. So with the brush, we're going to drag the concealer all the way to our temples just so it connects like that. And you want to blend under the concealer, under the line. You don't really want to touch the line or else it won't give that lifted look. And don't worry too much about leaving the line there. With all the other products that we're going to put on our face, it will blend out the line. Make sure you also blend in the inner corner of the eye and don't be afraid to get under that eye and touch the bottom lash line. So here I'm showing you the difference. You can really tell how much the concealer really lifts your face and that's what we want to achieve. So I already blended out the other side of my face. Now I'm gonna blend out my chin and my nose. You want to make sure that the lines are symmetrical in a way, just so one side of the face doesn't look higher than the other. And then we're gonna go back with that brush that we use for cream contour and use the leftover product just to blend everything out. The key here is to blend everything. Now moving on to my favorite part, I'm going to be using this Milani Cream Blush and I never used to wear blush, but ever since I started, I can never go back. This is a staple in my makeup routine and I really feel like it helps out with blending everything and a tip that I have for using cream blush is to pat it on my hand just like that so it's not as vibrant. You don't really want just pink right on your face, you want it as subtle as you can. This kind of gives you that pinky glow from within. It's not too much and not too little. I'm gonna also apply it on my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. 
Moving on to my holy grail product. This is the Ofra banana powder and this thing changed my life. You guys will see how this will help blend out that line. But first you want to grab that concealer brush that you used and blend out your under eyes just so you don't have creases under it. This brush right here is from e.l.f. I believe it's their tapered brush and we're just going to put that powder underneath our eyes. It kind of neutralizes the concealer that we have and we're just going to do the same to the other side i also forgot to mention in the beginning but i like using a pink undertone concealer i don't know why and then covering it up with a yellow toned powder i feel like that just works for me and then we're gonna grab our beauty blender that we use for the foundation and cut underneath the cream contour just so it has that sharp line underneath next i'm gonna be grabbing my translucent powder from revolution and a big stipple brush just to set the whole face where we didn't set with the banana powder now to bronze up a bit and set our cream contour i'm going to be using this essence bronzer and this big wet and wild brush you guys wet and wild brushes are only like a dollar so go ahead and go to your cvs go to your target and go grab you some wet and wild brushes they are high quality and they're so cheap and talk about inexpensive most of the products that i use for my makeup routine are from the drugstore you really don't need high and expensive products to achieve a makeup look like this as long as you focus on your technique now for contour i use this palette by ace beauty and another wet and wild brush and we're just gonna focus on our temples and our inner cheekbones. For nose contour, I'm gonna be using this tiny brush right here and mixing those two colors. I feel like I still need to work on my nose contour. I feel like that's what I struggle with the most. But what I usually do is create a shadow underneath my nose just so I can have it more lifted. And then we're gonna blend it out with our fingers just so it's not as harsh. And with the same brush, we're going to dip into those two colors again and try to make two parallel lines to each other. I really struggle with this part because my nose is not even, y'all. This is my biggest insecurity. But we're going to try to make it look like we just got our nose done. And going back with that translucent powder that we had in the beginning, we're going to sort of bake, but not really. We're just going to leave it on for a few seconds. And we're going to bake along the sides of the nose as well as the inside you want to leave that little space where the bronzer is just so it could set and then we're also gonna bake underneath our contour just so it's more clean and i only leave this on for a couple seconds i don't like to leave it because the powder tends to stick on my face and just leave like a white residue and i don't like that we're also gonna bake underneath our nose and here's a little dance break while we wait to wipe this off we're gonna go back in with that big stipple brush that we used earlier and when I wipe off the bake I like to go in circular motions just so it blends everything and I don't have a white line just underneath my contour. Now for more blush I like to go in with the Milani Luminoso. I know this name from the top of my head because everybody uses this blush but i like to pack on this blush heavily because blush is the one thing that disappears right after you do your makeup and then we're gonna go in with some water don't be fooled it is not setting spray i feel like water just works just as good and we're just gonna fan that into our face and let it all set moving on to highlight i use the modern renaissance palette in this shade right here for some reason i like using eyeshadow palettes better than regular highlighters or highlighting palettes i feel like the intensity is definitely much stronger and i want to look like rudolph once i'm done with this as you can see i also go in with my finger i feel like the oils from your fingers just attach to the shadows a lot better i also place this on the sides of my nose and on my inner corners when i do this i bring up the shadow a bit more just to exaggerate the inner corner going back to the face i like to set my face with the banana powder again once i feel like my face is almost dry not completely dry this step right here will make your makeup look face tuned i seen this hack on tiktok i believe and once i started doing this i fell in love with it and i'm gonna do my eyeliner off camera so boom here we go moving on to the lips i use this lip liner by morphe in the shade sugar pie 
And this soft matte lip in the shade London. I usually like to do either a glossy look or a matte look, but recently I've been feeling a matte look. So I like using this combo right here. Keep in mind that my skin tone is more on the tan side, so this won't look the same on all skin tone colors. I've definitely learned that the hard way, so just play around and see what suits your skin tone best. <laughs> guys that is the end of our video i hope you guys liked it and i hope you guys learned something new today if you did give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i post and i'll see you guys in the next one